In this video, you will understand slope intercept form of the line. You will also understand how do we sketch or draw lines given the equation and how do we find the equation of a line from the given graph. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is a lesson on lines. We will see how do we graph lines and how do we relate equation of lines with the graph in this particular video. We are going to cover the major topic relating to graph and equations of lines in details. We will begin with understanding difference between plotting and sketching lines. We will understand slope intercept equation of line and then plot graph of a line with the equation y equals to mx plus b, sketch graph of a line with slope intercept form of the equation, find equation of the line from the graph and have some practice questions at the end of the video. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are right on top of their class getting scholarships. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilan. <laughs> Great. Our student Akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now let's begin with understanding the difference between plotting and sketching lines. Can you tell me what is the difference between plotting and sketching lines? Well, plot is very specific and sketching is kind of rough. So we can define kind of like this. Plot or draw straight lines means specific points should be plotted on coordinate plane and then connected by a straight line. So when we consider plotting, in that case, the important thing is to have table of values. Second, we need a ruler to connect. Third, very labeled. It is kind of formal, you understand, like shown in the books. So when we see plot, or even draw a straight line, that is what it means. Now, most of the time in our questions, we'll have sketch a line. Now, sketch a line is kind of a rough sketch. So, this is rough sketch. Just as I do most of the time, right? But here, what is important to include is also mentioned very clearly. The graph may not be to the scale. You get the idea. So when I am plotting a line, I could just uh, draw like this and then draw a line like this. Now, I need not make a proper scale. I could write some important values which include axis, intercepts and general shape. Means rising. Do you see that? Axis, x-axis and y-axis. Of course, the origin. General shape is a straight line. Y-intercept, let's say, in this case, it is 1 and the x-intercept is minus 2. Now, that much is enough to sketch a line. Perfect. So, that is the meaning of sketch a line. Is that clear to you? So, with that in mind, 
will continue this lesson. So the very first example which I am going to take up here is before that we should understand what is slope intercept form of a line, right? So generally when we write equation of a line as y equals to mx plus b. In that case, m, the coefficient of x is the slope. So, m is normally indicative of slope. So, we say m is basically rise over run. It means change in y. value over change in x value or we can say delta y over delta x. Right? So, you can find slope from the given graph. For example, the line sketched here, we can identify two good points. For example, let's say this is one point and that's the other point. So, in that case, you will notice that change in y is this, right? So, make a triangle, right angle triangle, right? So, 1, 2, 3 units is change in y and 2 units is change in x. So, in this case, the slope of the line is positive 3 over 2. You get the idea. So, that is how you figure out slope from the diagram, right? Change in y. This is delta y and this is delta x, change in x, clear? We also write sometimes as most of the time rather y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. When we are considering coordinate points, right? So, we go write the coordinate points of this one as x2, y2 and the first one as x1, y1. Make sense? Let's say a and b. So, coordinate points of A are x1, y1, of B is x2, y2. Slope between them is y2 minus y1, which gives you the height of this triangle, and x2 minus x1, the base of the triangle. And that ratio is the slope. Perfect? Now, the second parameter is slope in slope intercept form. And the second parameter here is the y intercept. So, B is y intercept. y-intercept is where the line crosses y-axis. Do you see that? So, at y-intercept, x value is 0. So, wherever the line crosses the y-axis is called b, the y-intercept. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now, with that in mind, let's begin our lesson of plotting lines. As I said, plot or graph a line means you have to be very specific. You have to show the points on the graph and connect them with a straight line. I am not going to use a ruler to connect them, uh, but you should consider that line of mine as a straight line. Okay, perfect. So, we have coordinate plane here. That is the origin, x-axis and y-axis. Correct. So, we have equation y equals to 2x minus 4 to be plotted. So, normally what we do, we take values of x as minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. These are normally the key values for x. For each value, we will calculate the y value. So, for example, for 0, y value will be 2 times 0. Substitute x as the x value taken, minus 4, and that gives you minus 4. And therefore, the coordinate point is 0, minus 4. Makes sense? And this 0, minus 4, I can plot on the graph. At 0, I have a point, minus 4. Perfect. So, I got the very first point, this one. Now, let me substitute 2 here. Let's say 1. So, 2 times 1 minus 4 means 2 minus 4 or minus 2. So, this coordinate point will be 1 minus 2. Correct? So, 1 minus 2, 
I'm going to plot here as the second point. Now the third one is at 2. I'm putting 2 times 2 minus 4 which is 0. So we get 2 and 0. So this is the x intercept. So at 2 the line actually intersects the x-axis. So that is the x-intercept. You get the idea? Let's calculate for the other values also. 2 times minus 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 6. And so the point is minus 1 minus 6. And 2 times minus 2 minus 4 will be minus 8. So I get this as minus 2 minus so you saw that while I was calculating, I started my calculations with 0. Now that is a good way of starting since it is easiest value to calculate. You get the idea? And second thing, you, when you see that the slope is 2, you will see that all the y values are actually increasing by 2 as we go down, right? See, minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6. Then plus 2 is minus 4, plus 2 is minus 2, and plus 2 is 0. It becomes easy to calculate thereafter or substituting the values. Right? Now, on the graph also, once we go with this, we have a slope of 2, right? It really means that you go rise 2 up and 1 right. Do you see? 2 up and 1 right. You get the idea. So, you can actually plot the lines like this without any problem, right? So, or you can go 2 down and then one left. You see that? And two down and one left. So, so we got a set of points right there for you, right? Two down, one left and so. All these can be connected with the graph of a straight line. So, so we calculate up to this point. So, if I have three So let me now connect them with a straight line. So since I have only connect, uh, taken those four, I will connect these five points right, and draw a straight line. Perfect. So let me do it with a different color. Assume that this is a straight line. Is it okay? Right. So that is how you are going to plot a line. Perfect. Let me make it slightly better. So I have clearly indicated the five points which I calculated. So here we have the y intercept which is at minus 4, the x intercept which is at 2. So these two are critical points to be mentioned on the graph. You understand? So that will be a plot. Accurate. Perfect. Now let us see how do we sketch a line. Now we need to sketch a line which is y equals to half of x plus 1. So clearly, we have slope m which is half and the y-intercept as 1, which is b-value as 1. So we can begin with y-intercept which is 1, right? So, so here in the scale, we have 2 written here. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. So each one is. So point half will be 1, right? So that becomes 1 for us, right? So each is half. So this is 1 for us. So that is the y intercept 1. Clear? Now we have slope of half. It means rise of 1 and run of 2. So let me show you rise and run. 
So you go up by 1, which is rise, and then run off 2, right? So you reach another point. Do you get the idea? Rise of 1, run of 2. You reach here. Do you see that? You can also go down by 1 and 2 left, down by 1, 2 left, like this. Do you see that? So what we have done is using slope and intercept, we actually got our points. And now we will connect these points, right? right? So that is my rough sketch. But important thing here is that I will identify my x and y intercepts. So this is 4 minus 2, right? So this is minus 2, which is my x intercept. You get the idea. That is the x axis, this is the y axis, the y intercept being 1. Perfect. So, so that is how we could actually sketch the graph. Clear? Right? So, we used like this. Now, some of you could also select few points. Let us see. You would like, you, we already know what a y-intercept is, which is this, correct? You could calculate the x-intercept. x-intercept is where y is equal to 0. So, if I substitute y equals to 0, I get half of x plus 1. And then solving this, we can say that minus 1 is equal to half of x or from here minus 2 is equal to x. Do you see that? So, we calculated this value. So, we could now connect just these two points x and y intercept and draw our line. Does it make sense to you? That will also be considered as a rough sketch. So, as per our definition, in the rough sketch, which may not be to the scale, but if it is to the scale, not bad includes axis, intercepts, and general shape, a straight line rising. You get the idea. So, this qualifies the meaning for sketching a graph. Is that clear to you? So, we have learned how do we plot? We plot a line from the equation by calculating the values and the coordinate points. Once the coordinate points have been calculated, plot them on the graph, connect them with a straight line, clear? And sketching means identify x and y intercepts, connect them with a straight line, or you could also go from the definition y intercept of 1, rise over run. Got it. Now, the last part of this is to how do we find equation from the graph itself? So, here is a graph for you. You need to find the equation. And we are going to write the equation in the form y equals to mx plus b, right? Where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Now, y-intercept is very easy to figure out. Here, we know the value of b, the y-intercept. is what? y intercept is 6. So, we know the value of b. Now, we need to find the slope. So, to find slope m, we could find by rise over run. So, let us consider any two points. Right? These are two good points. You can say that the coordinates of this point are at 0, the value is 6. Let us call this point as a. And here, at 4, the y value is 0. Let us call this point as b. So, slope is y2 minus y1, change in y, divide by change in x, x2 minus x1. So, y2 minus y1 will be, considering b as the second point, 0 minus 6 over 4 minus 0. So, it gives you minus 6 over 4, which can be simplified to minus 3 over 2. Do you see that? So, we got our rise over run. You could have calculated in this fashion also. 
scale six right six units so we can say one two three four five six down right so that is minus six do you see that and then one two three four over four run do you see that so you can actually count from the figure the graph itself and directly right you could do that so now we got both the important key parameters y intercept and slope so what is the equation of line so y equals to slope of minus 3 by 2 x plus 6 make sense so that is how we get the equation of the line from the graph it makes sense right line is going down with the slope negative perfect so with that we come to an end of our learnings on this topic basically what do we mean by drawing or sketching how do we use the equation slope intercept form to plot or to draw a line and how do we write this graph in the form of an equation so here are questions for you to practice now i hope the concept is absolutely clear and these questions should not be difficult for you to do draw the line y equals to minus 2x plus 6, draw the graph of the line, y goes to half x minus 3, sketch the graph of line, y goes to minus x minus half, and sketch the graph of line, y goes to 2 over 3x minus 2, and find the equation of line from the given graph. So that is the graph given to you, whose equation you need to find. Is that clear to you? So that becomes practice questions for you. I hope with this, the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.